So this is a very quick video to show some updates that I've been making recently to the Solar Tariff Optimizer. Um, this is my tool that I've recently introduced um, to help people with solar and batteries choose the right tariff for them. Um, if you're unsure what that is all about, then go and check out the video linked above my head now. Um, that explains uh, all of the details around that. Um, so yeah, this is a very quick update. As I said, um, I will scroll to the bottom to show you what I've added. Um, first thing, very quickly, is I've added these little boxes here so that you can unselect um, some of the strategies if you're uninterested in uh, a particular strategy. For example, you can just unclick one of these boxes and that will exclude it from the calculation. Um, but if I scroll to the bottom, this is the most important bit of the update. You'll see here I've introduced this new column called charging slots. So this is important for tariffs where there are more than one off-peak period. What I mean by that is Cozy has a sort of triple dip off-peak period structure um, where you can technically um, recharge your battery multiple times. So um, because Cozy has three off-peak periods, you could potentially recharge your battery up to three times. So um, all of these tariffs have a charging slots number of one, except for Cozy, which I've set to three. So um, what I'm going to do is very quickly run through an example for my own use and then an example where I believe that this will make the most difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect everything except for Cozy and Intelligent Go. So we're on Intelligent Go at the moment. And um, by adding this uh, addition here, of uh, being able to recharge um, our battery multiple times, um, it actually doesn't really make much difference. And you can see here that um, Intelligent Go is still the best tariff for the, every single month throughout the year, even in the winter. So this is the cost each month for each of these two tariffs. And obviously the lower it is here, the lower the cost, or if it's negative, the higher your earnings. Um, so the reason for that is that we have a very large battery system. We've actually got um, just over 13 and a half kilowatt hours. So um, I've set this to 13 and a half uh, for the sake of argument. It actually coincides with roughly what a, um, a Powerwall 3 has, for example. We actually have a Give Energy system with a 9.5 and a 5.2, and with the usable capacity, it's around about 13.7. So I'm going to leave that at 13.5. Um, and we also have a large amount of generation. So we generate very nearly 8,000 kilowatt hours. We have a heat pump. Hence uh, the heating demand here, and um, we have a hot water cylinder with which is also powered by a heat pump, um, and that goes in there. The EV usage goes in there, and our house usage goes in there. All of the details on this uh, can be found in the the main video, um, which I linked to earlier. Um, but as you can see, uh, this currently says that Intelligent Go is the best uh, tariff for us for the entire year. Nothing's changed since the last time I, uh, I showed you this. I should also mention briefly that I've updated all of the Octopus um, rates here um, to represent the, um, the rates currently uh, available as of the 1st of October 2025. Um, the Eon Next Drive one hasn't changed, doesn't look like um, version 10 of the Eon Next Drive tariff, so that's the same as it was before. Uh, but I've updated all the other ones. I do recommend you um, check out your own particular tariffs for your area, so uh, if you uh, click this drop down, you'll see links to all of the various web pages um, for the individual tariffs there and you can go through those and, um, and update the uh, the rates in the, these cells here for your particular region. Uh, okay, so with that out of the way, um, why bother with, um, with having Cozy in here then in that case uh, if it's going to make no difference to us? Well, here's where it gets interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to reduce the amount of generation we have to 4,000 which is a pretty typical amount for a, for a modest system. Um, let's see if that's made any difference at all. Not really, it's changed the shape very slightly, but um, it still shows as Intelligent Go as the best tariff for the whole year, and again, reflected in this table here. Um, but what really makes the difference is the battery capacity. So let's reduce this down to five kilowatt hours. And now let's see what uh, difference that's made. Well, now you can see all of a sudden in the winter, Cozy has become the best tariff for us. Uh, for the winter from, well, January and February and November and December. And if I scroll down to show the full cost chart, you can see it's pretty marginal actually in November and February, but there's a clear benefit to being on Cozy in January and December. And the reason for this is that because we're able to recharge our battery um, periodically, multiple times during the day, that means we can support our heating and um, when, you know, obviously when, when it gets colder in January and December, uh, we can support our heating during the day by using the battery rather than using uh, daytime rate power or, or even peak rate power, um, which can uh, obviously make the, uh, the cost increase. When we have a large battery, 
That's not so important because we can basically cover all of our use or mo the vast majority of our use with just one charge of the battery. So actually in in increasing the number of charging slots to three doesn't really make much difference there. But when we have a relatively small battery of only five kilowatt hours, being able to recharge it multiple times really does make a difference in particular in the winter. So let's just uh, demonstrate what I mean um, if I put this back to one. This is what the situation was earlier. This is what the, the previous version of the, of the tool was up until today's update. You can see that um, actually Cozy isn't as good in, uh, in the winter when you've only got a five kilowatt hour battery, but being able to charge multiple times makes it um, much better. So that's the main um, update I wanted to show you. Um, so yeah, uh, this new charging slot is now incorporated into the download downloadable example file. So um, uh, if you want to fill in your own values and save them in a file for loading later, then I recommend you download the example file, update all the values, and uh, then you can um, reload it at a later time. And the new example file has this charging slots uh, column in there. So uh, yeah, please do make use of that if you want to um, check it out uh, for your own purposes. So there you go, very quick update. Uh, hope you found that useful and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.